so hello and welcome everyone so in this video we are going to solve the question print adjacency list the question does not need any kind of introduction or anything because it is pretty simple to understand and pretty basic to implement so let's go through the problem statement quickly and then we'll be understanding how to implement this question so in this question you will be given an undirected graph with v number of nodes and e number of edges so you have to create and return an adjacency list of the graph and over here it is mentioned that in the graph zero based indexing is followed everywhere so let's understand with the help of the example given over here over here i have taken the same example which is given to us in the test case so in the input you will be given v number of vertices so over here five vertices are there and seven edges are there and you will be given an array that contains a pair of edges so here you can see this edges array contains pairs 0, 1, 0, 4, 4, 1, 4, 3. Basically, this array represents all the edges present inside your graph. And if you try to visualize the graph, this is what the graph actually looks like. So now you have to print the adjacency list of the graph. Basically, write down the logic to convert this into an adjacency list. So let's write down the adjacency list for this. We know that inside the adjacency list, for each and every index or each and every vertex, you will be having a list of vertices that are adjacent to that node. So over here, there will be four number of vertices. That is basically the indexing starts from zero till four. So in total, five vertices are there. So I have created an adjacency list having indexing from zero till four. And corresponding to each and every node, I'll be having a list. So now basically, how do, how do you solve this question? So I'll be iterating over the edges array and what I'll be doing, I'll be inserting the adjacent node. So what I'll be doing inside the edges array, I can see the first pair is 0, 1. So in the adjacency list over here, at the index number 0, I'll be adding 1 and at the index number 1, I'll be adding 0 because this is an undirected graph. So entry should be made in both the list. So now moving on forward with the next edge, that is 0, 4. So at the index number 0, add the vertex 4 and at the index number 4, add the node number 0. So now moving on forward, 4, 1. So at the index number 4, add 1 and for 1, add the adjacent list 4. So now for 4, 3, what do you need to do? For the uh, vertex 4, add 3 and at the index number 3, add 4. And for 1, 3, at index number 1, add 3 and at index number 3 add 1 now for 1 comma 2 at index number 1 add 2 and at index number 2 add 1 now for 3 comma 2 what you need to do at index number 3 add 2 and for 2 add 3 so this is our entire adjacency list for the given graph and basically this is how you write down the adjacency list so you have to write down the logic to create the entire adjacency list. I hope you got an idea on how to convert the edges array into an adjacency list. In this question, there is no requirement of any complex logic. You simply need to create an adjacency list. So I have created the adjacency list and now it's the time for implementing the code for it. So let's write down the code for the same. So over here, I will be implementing the logic in Java, but the same can be implemented in other languages as well. So let's say if you are coding in C++, you'll be using vector of vector. And for Java, you'll be using array list of array list. So I'll be creating a list of list over here in Java. And I'll be calling it as ADJ list. Now, I know that the size of the adjacency list needs to be equivalent to V, that is total number of vertices. So this is what the size of the adjacency list is going to be. So now I'll be iterating over each and every index. And at each and every index, I'll be inserting an empty list. So now what do we need to do? Now we'll be iterating over all the edges present inside this graph. So I'll be iterating over the edges array and one by one make an entry inside the adjacency list. So let's ex extract the total number of edges present. So edges dot length will give me the total number of edges. And now I'll be iterating over the edges. So let's first of all extract the vertex V of that edge. That is edges comma edges of I comma zero 
will be the vertex u and vertex v will be edges of i comma 1 now inside the adjacency list go to the index number u and insert v and same thing with v go to the index number v and insert u so get index u and add v and we'll be doing same thing for v as well dot get v and add the vertex u and at the end you simply need to return the entire adjacency list so now let's say to compile and run and see the what is the output and we can see that the compilation is successfully completed so now let's try to submit the solution and we can see that the problem has been successfully submitted so now what will be the time and space complexity for the approach so the time complexity of this approach will be order of v plus e because you'll be iterating over each and every vertex and each and every edge present inside the graph and what about the space complexity obviously you are creating an adjacency list right so the space occupied will be equivalent to order of v plus e that is all the vertices and all the edges will be present inside the adjacency list so this was the solution and implementation part for the question print adjacency list I hope you got a clear understanding for the same and if you really enjoyed this video do like this video and share it with your friends. So that was it for in this video and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.